What do you do confidently now that made you feel weird in the past? Asking people to pay back money they borrowed. That's what they do. Make you feel awkward like an asshole for asking for what's rightfully yours. Second year college I lent a friend $100 and he kept telling me he was broke. Then I hear he dropped $300 on a new stereo. I never got the money back but I learned a valuable lesson. Walking down the street, realizing I was going in the wrong direction, and making a U-turn without pretending to have forgotten something. Same here. My old tactic, since the cell phone era began, was to stop in front of some building, look around like I was waiting for someone, and pretend to call or text that person until I was certain that anyone who might have seen me was well out of distance before turning around. Going out for a meal on my own. Thank you for this one. You reminded me of the first time I did this when I was about 20 years old. Moved into a new neighborhood and really wanted to try this cute little place down the street from my apartment but was solo. Put it off too many nights to admit. Until finally said fuck it. Grabbed a book, got a table and had the four course prefix menu and I loved it. I was super nervous and embarrassed. But ended up having a pretty damn fine time. Ends up I'm okay company. Doing things alone is the best was so liberating when I could finally ask my GF if she'd want to go see a movie with me. She'd say she didn't want to see that one, and I'd say okay be back in a few hours. Wear a mask over my face entering a bank to get the money. Me too. Now I just need to get more confident about the gun the attention it brings is just too much for me right now. Go out in public and be around crowds. When I first started using a wheelchair, I was hyper aware of people staring at me, avoiding getting near me, or acting strange when interacting with me. Decades of being a wheelchair user have desensitized me to all that, hardly noticed now. Due to a procedure, I was temporarily in a wheelchair, and I do have even more respect for anyone on wheels. I felt like I was in the biggest fishbowl just getting groceries. I was a total pariah and stared at, and exactly the same as you said, how weirded out people got talking to me. On the flip side, Everybody ran to get doors for me or carry something I was perfectly capable of carrying. So glad to hear the awkwardness goes away. Buying condoms. I remember one of the first times I bought some. My girlfriend at the time wouldn't accompany me to the register because she was embarrassed. I purchased that loan item. The guy ringing me up said, have a nice day. I responded, oh, I will, with a wink and a smile. He got a laugh. At the end of the day, you gotta remember you're preparing to get laid. Don't be embarrassed about that. I remember being 15, trying to buy condoms for the first time. I wasn't even sure if I legally could buy them. AOC is 16 in the UK. I was still in my school uniform and everything. My friends were giggling and both trying to make me feel better and also poking a little bit of fun. But although I was embarrassed, I told myself, if you're not mature enough to buy condoms, you're not mature enough to have sex. And obviously, I wanted to have sex, so I forced myself to put on a brave, confident face and just bought them. I went to the counter by myself. Didn't get ID'd so I assume it's not illegal to sell condoms to minors. The woman could probably see through my facade and just didn't say anything, and was totally normal. After my friends were like, OMG how did you do that, you're so brave, I couldn't do that, lol. Also reminds me of buying a pregnancy test. The first time I bought a pregnancy test I was so nervous and I tried to be as discreet as possible. I wanted to just pick it up without stopping walking so no one else would notice and use the self-service checkouts. My clumsiness meant that instead of just grabbing one, I knocked the entire shelf of them over onto the floor. I internally screamed as I picked them all back up and put them back on the shelf. Saying how I feel. I'd usually bottle things up because I didn't want to upset anyone pee without asking. In first grade this girl had to pee and the teacher wouldn't let her, and she ended up peeing herself in her desk. Was fucked up and half the class kinda laughed at her. I came close a few times especially when the teacher said no. Telling people the music I like. When I ask people what music they like, they always get super cagey. Like, I'm not going to judge you, I promise. I just want to know more about you. I have a dedicated playlist of acceptable 
songs that I use when playing music out loud because I am terribly self-conscious of my music taste despite it not being a big deal at all. I have this too. It's labeled SMPL, Socially Acceptable Music Playlist. Swim without a shirt on. My sisters made fun of how I looked without a shirt on when I was like 12 and it stuck with me for years. Just the other day I went to the beach and realized that I finally don't care anymore. I was that way too. I finally realized that there's people not wearing a shirt that are in much worse shape than me so I finally said screw it. I feel the same. I avoided going to the beach from like 14 until I was 23 because of this. It came to the point that I convinced myself that I don't like beaches in general. I'm so glad that I was able to finally be comfortable with my body even if it took that long. English? I used to be terrible and my accent still sucks sometimes. But after more than 20 years of practice and a bachelor degree from an English university, now I'm quite proud to be bilingual. Imho nothing wrong with having an accent for languages. Stay calm around women I find attractive. I used to get anxious and even avoid. In contrast I know find it easier to stay calm around women who find me attractive. It used to be that the slightest hint they liked me would cause an irrational panic. I had PTSD from a past abusive relationship. Almost a year of therapy later and I still get nervous but it's kinda an excited nervous rather than sheer unbridled panic and potential flashbacks. Ironically this became way easier for me once I got married. I don't plan on cheating on my wife, and so when I talk to any woman now there's no sexual tension at least from my end. I just talk like I would anyone else. It's really freeing. Not really at the present, not since February, but going to the cinema alone. First time I ever did, back in 2016 it felt weird tbh. Even had a mother ask me if I was waiting for anyone when I saw Kong, Skull Island, but now I actually prefer it most times. It means I don't have to worry about scheduling with a friend on what day is best. Don't get me wrong, I have still gone with friends but 90 to 95% of the time I go alone. I can do whatever I want before or afterwards, whether to look around the shops or just go straight home. I heard going to the movies alone is an experience everyone should have. I can't wait until things start opening up more so I can give it a try. There's been lots of times I've wanted to see some movie and haven't gone because I thought it would be weird to go alone. My work schedule is weird and my free time doesn't always line up with others. I need to give it a go if theaters ever open back up again. Say no. A lot of people struggle with saying no. I used to struggle with it as well. I got a lot of advice to be unapologetic. You don't owe anyone anything. You don't have to give a reason to say no. That is stupid advice. That is obviously going to harm your relationships. Instead I realize that most people are reasonable. I present my case in a way that the other person can understand and explain why I need to say no. Almost everyone understands and does not want to put you in a difficult situation. If the other person is not reasonable, there is no point explaining further. Then you just gotta say no, but you need to try to explain first. So many things. Getting older and caring less about what people who don't matter to me think of me has been extremely liberating. I've also learned that most people aren't actually paying attention when you do something stupid or embarrassing. People are usually off in their own little worlds. I was a very self-conscious and eccentric child, but adult me has fully embraced my weird side, and it's wonderful. I am who I am meant to be and I'm surrounded by amazing people. I'm the fat girl in the gym. For my entire adulthood, I would hold back my workouts for fear of jiggling, sweat, boobs bouncing, heavy breathing. I get red in the face with any exertion. Finally, I got some quality clothes that fit properly, really good bras that keep the girls in check, and now I'm really proud of how hard I work. I sweat through my clothes every workout. My hair gets soaked. I love leaving drips underneath my heavy bag. Now my coaches use me as an example of what to do if you want higher intensity in the exercise we are doing. I love it. Only two more hours until class starts. I used to be super self-conscious going to the gym. I'd always be the smallest guy there surrounded by a bunch of juiced out meatheads. They're putting up multiple 45 pounds plates while I'm struggling with 25 pounds. Eventually I realized those meatheads actually encourage you for being there and they had to start somewhere too. And chances are if you need some advice on something, they're more than willing to help. 
changed my life when I figured this out. The guys at my gym helped me so much. 90% of dudes in the gym are some of the nicest people you'll meet in terms of improving yourself. Went from 135 pounds max on the bench 5 years ago to maxing 270 pounds on the bench as of last month. I could not have done it without their advice. Go out without makeup. I wore makeup once for a school play, I'm a guy. And I look so good I kinda want to wear some every day. What did you stop being shy about? Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more videos like this one.